Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today so it's a Monster Legends Guides video. I'm going to be telling you guys how to get Mace Coin. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right in with the easy ways. The first one is going to be collecting gold. And then you can also feed your monsters. You can also collect food. And for collecting food, make sure that you grow one small one along with the large ones. Because you might have to go ahead and collect this one after in order to get all of the Mace Coins. If that makes any sense. And then for the gold, you will want to click this a few times to make sure that you actually get them all. Because sometimes it doesn't actually give you them all when you click collect all. And then for feeding, you will also need to go ahead and click it a little slower just to make sure you don't miss the maze coins. So just click the feed button a little slower. And then there's also breeding and hatching and you cannot do the Thunder Eagle method anymore for this. So I just say like do an epic, I guess. Like any epic should work because rares don't take long enough time and obviously anything below that doesn't so yeah just go ahead and do epics and then you can also go ahead and fight in a dungeon there will be a maze coins dungeon instead of resource dungeons and yeah you can get a lot of maze coins out of it it'll be like 1500 so that is definitely worth doing definitely make sure to do that before the dungeon ends and then there's of course going to be multiplayer you can find multiplayer every four hours just like you knew everything else every four hours by the way but yeah, you can find multiplayer every four hours and you can get 15 maze coins per battle and you can battle twice so you can get a total of 30 maze coins and then there's also going to be maze coins inside of monster wood but that won't happen until later on into the event so yeah definitely make sure to do all of those ways in order to get maze coins and remember to collect kind of slowly for the gold and the food make sure to grow one small one and then for feeding make sure to also feed kind of slowly and also make sure to do that dungeon before it ends because it does give you quite a lot of maze coins and it is definitely worth it and yeah that is going to be it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye